Well, in an effort to help animals find their forever home, we're partnering with the Chautauqua County Humane Society in our favorite segment, Dub the Pet of the Week. Joining us live now is Brian Papalea, the Director of Community Relations with the Chautauqua County Humane Society. Brian, TGIF to you. Thanks for being here today. All right, thanks for having us, Justin. I'm going to switch the camera around here so you can see Molly. She's getting a drink because we've been out here playing for about no, 20 minutes or so. And Molly's nine years old, and she's up for adoption here at the Chautauqua County Humane Society. She does well with other dogs here. Of course, we would do uh, meet with any dog that might come to meet her. Um, but she's very friendly. She's just a loving girl, and uh, we'd love to have her meet her family. Absolutely. Now, today's a great day to be out, uh, Brian. Playing with Molly, uh, how, how is she uh, been? Is, is she pretty uh, receptive to the toys and pretty friendly in that sense? I'm going to see here. We'll, we'll give it a test. She's been good so far because, but I, oh, there we go. There she goes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, she loves uh, to get a good shot of her coming back. There we go. Good job. Good girl. Wow, what a pretty see, girl. My, uh, we do have some big news here at the Humane Society. We have changed the date of our walk for pause. Yeah, our Walk for Paws is now going to be Halloween Day. It's the uh, Walk for Paws Pet Costume Parade. And it's going to be at the Chautauqua Mall, noon to 2 on Halloween. Oh, really? So uh, an in-person event now compared to the virtual? Yes, it will be uh, safe, socially distanced, um, no registration or anything. People can, you know, because we're just trying to keep the contact down to uh, as zero as we can, close to zero. So, yeah, we just did made the discovery we could do that late yesterday wow that's some some late breaking news then here on the broadcast brian so that's really <laughs> great because we interrupt this program for a cbs radio <laughs> <Net Alert bulletin. laughs> but but no in, in all seriousness it's it's that event and we talked about this last week is what makes most of your work there possible and and to be able to, to yeah, take care of dogs does. like molly and connect her with the right people yeah it's definitely something that we're very grateful to the folks at the mall for operating the, uh, offering this opportunity and you know it's just it gives people that connection and we will have a small adoption event at that same time um up at the mall because the mall has donated a space for us to use um so we're just really excited to have this opportunity to have the audience connect with us yeah certainly it certainly is so um I, Anything people can know, I mean, if, they, if they're not involved yet, but they want to get involved, what's the best way that they can do that? Um, chqhumane.org is the place to go. You'll find all the information. Um, there's, it'll be t-shirts for people that do a certain amount of fundraising. There's prizes for people that do larger amounts of fundraising. So it's just, it's a lot of fun. And now they'll get a chance to show off their pets in costume. Yeah, certainly will. And I, and I think it's a lot. Of, is it cool for you guys to see at the Humane Society animals who maybe you adopted out come back to that event and see them with their family well you know something that i will say and i can say this for everybody in this building volunteer staff board member or otherwise we love to see our friends you know i mean dogs like molly they stay here and some are here for just a few days some are here for a few months we get connected we get attached and to see you know pets that are doing well in their homes it's just really reaffirming to what we do, and it just makes us feel good. Yeah, certainly does. So, Brian, thank you so much for spending time with us today. Uh, we really appreciate it. Um, and again, to, to learn more about Molly, who you see there, uh, all you have to do is visit chqhumane.org, best place. You can see all of the animals that are available for adoption and why not take home Molly today? Um, really, really great. Brian, how, how late can people, if they were interested in filling out an application, would, would they be able to come today to see Molly? Um, we're doing adoptions by appointment. So what they can okay. do is they can fill out the online adoption application at chqhumane.org. Or if they uh, want to do the paper application, they can stop by our Second Chances thrift store and they can pick up a paper application there. They can also call and we'll mail you one.
um, for those people who can't get out to the store. So just we try gotcha. to cover everybody's as we... Right. And, and I think as we mentioned last week, um, too, the, the paper application or the online application doesn't necessarily mean that you're, you're tied to the animal, but it gets the process no. rolling to meet them. No, yeah, it all leads to a meet. We make sure everybody likes each other. It's a good fit. And once that happens, you know, they go home. All right, awesome. So if you, anyone's interested in Molly, remember chqhumane.org, Brian Papalea and Molly. Thank you both for joining us today. Happy Friday. Have a great weekend. Thank you.